darkness, the border between life and death. A troubled prince who speaks of magic going airy in his land, and the ultimate threat and an offer of immortality. Hello, fellow book questers! It is I, Aaron the Book Quester. Today I have this epic, awesome Earth Sea book. The Farther Shore, or the Earth Sea Cycle book. Three by Ursula K. Lee Guin. As usual, a N National Book Award winner. And well, let's get right on to it. Prince Aaron, who in his language, he is named the sword and he he knows how to do the blade and he comes to rock as a messenger from his father the king of the west he comes to rock the island of the wizards the isle of the wise he comes to ask for guidance for magic was going airy in his lands love potions when drank making people go mad with jealousy and spite Spells that were supposed to help cows breed and prosper, killing and killing cows, plagues killing them, and disfigured cow cow children coming out. There was something very wrong with the magic. Anything that you did with it went wary or wrong. And the streets were swarming with thieves, and many were going mad. They were saying that in their dreams a man, a man who was offering them immortality. Chaos reigns on, and Sparrowhawk, Lord Sparrowhawk, the Archmage of, of all Earth's sea, he knows that there is something wrong, and so with Aren, his companion, who, and Aren, who decides that he would serve Sparrowhawk as lord, together they go. They go to the boundaries and beyond to the realm of the dead to stop whatever disturbance was causing this madness. But there was, but the Archmage knew that he was going against a very powerful major wizard. For only one creature in the world could cause a disbalance and the equilibrium, which is the balance of all things and how the world works. But if that balance is broken, and there is only one thing that can break it, humans, mages, wizards, animals aren't capable of doing good or bad. Dragons, never, they are the making. But humans, yes, always they titter on the edge of the balance, always making it disrupted. And the Archmage knew that he had to turn back the balance or the world would fall into absolute chaos. And together with Arem, he tries to find this mage. And he finds this disturbing wizard who has lost all his wizardry, who had given up all his magic and his skill for what? And he says immortality, that his lord was giving himself immortality. and. It was wrong, and it was something was wrong, definitely. And even Aren is tempted. He's tempted in his dreams by saying that he, the the wizard, would give a, a great wizard would give him immortality. And for a second, he goes slightly crazy. But alas, he comes back to his normal self. And together, Lord Sparrowhawk and Aren, the prince. Together they journey to the edge of the world, to the last, the farthest shore, shore Salador, where beyond is the realm of the dead. And even dragons were going crazy, dragons killing dragons, dragons losing their speech. The holy mighty dragons becoming nothing but animals. What was going on? And then he found out. A mage named Cobb. He had used the runes, the the evil magic, necromancy, to bring back the dead and make himself immortal. But he was neither living or 
dying. He was in between, trapped in his own soul. And he had done something very incredibly irreversible. He had opened the opened and made a hole in the barrier between the living and the dead. And they needed to and Sparrowhawk, the Archmage, knew that he needed to close it. So Aaron and Sparrowhawk go into the realm of the dead, beyond the border, beyond the border, into the cities of the dead. There they meet the dead, and finally Cobb. There Sparrowhawk confronts him and destroys the spider mage, the necromancer. And finally, Sparrowhawk, using all his skill and power, closes the barrier with his magic. But with that final act, the Archmage was no longer a mage. He could no longer use magic. His power was destroyed. Be all spent on closing the final barrier between the living and the dead. The barrier that should always have stayed. And so it was. And so it was. And the tale will be sung after that for hundreds and hundreds of years. And finally, the true story, the story of Aaron and the Lord Sparrowhawk ends. And in the end, the towers of Havnor, the sword of Aerith Akbe, the city of the king. And Havnor, there lies a new king, Aren Lebanon, that is his true name. He becomes the king of all of our sea, and he becomes the new lord. But the archmage, who finally gave all his power, all his authority to Aren, the king, King Lebanon, he goes back, goes back to where it all started, where he was born, to Gaunt, where he would, he hoped, be left in peace. And so the book ends with me thinking, what will happen to our dear Archmage, and what will happen to the next story of Earthsea? And as we all know, that's the next book's story. And like always, your book quester and the book quester. Awesome book, the best of them all, and shows and imagines what is beyond the realm of the living.